from the TV GSN Studios, it's everybody's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tip That Go! And now, here's the star of Tip That Go, Brandon Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe right here on the DGSN. Glad to have y'all with us today. We got two brand new contestants playing up here today, ready for a shot to take become my new interim champion as Kyle unified the championships on our last episode, but he's not with us here today. So we've got two new players vying for the interim championship. So let's meet him right now, playing out of our X position in our first game here. First time player to Tic Tac Doe, it's Mikey. Mikey, welcome. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. Tell everybody on YouTube a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Mikey Batten. I am a janitor. I'm 30 years old. I live on live in Middleport, Ohio, right on the Ohio River. And in my spare time, I like to cheer on my local high school team, the Wahama White Falcons, as I'm their number one fan. Fantastic. I'm a football fan. Well, good. Good for you. And good luck to you here today on the show. All right, and thank you. And playing out of the O position today, we have Mark. Mark, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Thank you. So good to be back here. Fantastic. Are you ready to make another run at the old Tic Tac Doe board here? Yes, I am. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, good luck to both of you. We're going to get right into this game today. Got nine subjects on the board for this first game of Tic Tac Doe. Let's take a look at them now. The categories are for this game. <laughs> We have Ghoul TV, Halloween Trivia, Science, Trivia Dare, History and Politics, Number Please, Secret Category, Food and Drink, and Fun and Games. Of course, Ooh. of course, being it's Halloween week here on a uh, Tic Tac Toe, uh, the Ghoul TV is uh, talk about scary moments on television. So that's what that category is about there. Halloween Trivia, general knowledge about the ho holiday. Of course, trivia dare you know is a multiple choice question. If you get pick that category, you'll have a choice to either answer first or second. Whoever answers the question correctly gets the box. If you get it wrong, you remember your opponent gets a chance to steal with the remaining answers. Number please, of course, is a question with a numerical answer. Uh, you're gonna go back and forth trying to guess first person to get the exact answer right on the nose wins the box. And of course, secret category doubles everything in the pot. All right, episode 18 underway here. We drew numbers before the show started, and Mikey won the toss, playing out of the exposition. You get first crack of the board. Please select a category. All right, how about we go with, um, how about fun and games? Fun and games, lower right-hand corner. Again, one of the more popular categories here on Tic Tac Toe. Here comes your question under fun and games. Good luck to both of you. Start you with a true or false question. True or false, Mikey? Tonka Toys Incorporated, the kitty truck manufacturer, came up with its name from the location of its first factory near Lake Minnetonka in Minnesota. Is that true or false? I'll say true. And you are correct. Put an exit on the board. $200 in the pot. Underway. Let's shuffle the categories. And Mark, you're up. Please select. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, that Google TV category looks rather interesting. Wanna go with it? Yep, that is going to be my official selection. We're locking that in. All right, Google TV. Here comes your question <coughs> under Google TV. In the classic, in the classic TV show Sabrina the Teenage Witch, what was the name of Sabrina's cat? Uh, uh, seen episodes of this show before, a few of them, but I don't quite remember off the top of my head what the name of her cat was. Uh, I know, I think I remember one of her aunt's names, but I don't quite remember the cat's name. I'm going to have to say no guess. No guess. Salem. Salem was the cat's Oh, name. Salem, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, $200 remains in the pot. We shuffle. And control goes back to you, Mikey. How about... 
Halloween trivia. Halloween trivia. Left side of the board. Here comes your Halloween trivia question. All right, Mikey, what would you traditionally bob for at a Halloween party? Apples. You got it right on the nose. Put an X on the board. $400 in the pot. We'll shuffle. And, Mark, we're back to you. Okay. Um, looks like I'm going to have to go with number, please, to block. All right. Red category here, number please. Again, this is a question with a numerical answer. You can go back and forth, trying to guess what the correct answer is. If you get it wrong, I'll tell your opponent higher or lower, and you will go on. Uh, first person to get the answer right on the nose wins the box. Mikey, if you get this right, it's tic-tac-toe and $600, and you'll be headed to the bonus round as my new interim champion. All right? Mark, you need this for a block. All right. Okay. What is the average age of a first-time grandparent in the United States? Looking for the average age of a first-time grandparent in the United States. All right, Mark, you selected the category. You're going to get to answer first. All right. Well, grandparents are generally tend to be about middle age when they first come one. So, I am going to say 55. 55, that's wrong. My, uh, Mikey, the correct answer is lower than 55. I will guess 50. Uh, that's incorrect as well. Mark, it's lower than 50. Oh, lower than 50, okay. Well, so much for uh, logic. Uh, 45. No, that's incorrect. Mikey, the answer is higher. 47. And you got tic-tac-toe just like that. Well done, sir. Thank you. Wow. I was actually shocked to find that out. 47 years of age is the average age of a grandparent it's called in America. Tendencies. I mean, that's, well, barely, that's barely old enough for your kids to be having kids at that point. Well, yeah. as Gary would say, I was in the ballpark. Yeah, you both were in the ballpark. Just, uh, Mikey got to the correct answer first, so... Well done, Mikey. You got $600. You're my new interim champion. You'll be going on to face the dragon in just a moment. Mark, uh... Just, uh we went three up and three down just like that, uh, but you're not leaving here empty-handed. We got some nice party gifts for you, and we'll be back on another episode, all right? All right. Well, yeah. Mikey, congratulations. Thank uh, you. All right, Marky, come on over here. Let's see if you can take down the dragon. Let's go. All right, Mikey, welcome to the bonus round. Let me explain how this works for you. Your objective is to get to $1,000 on the board or find Ticket Tack in order to win the dough. Now, if you get to $1,000, however many uncovered boxes you have remaining on the board will multiply your pot winnings by that, and that's how much cash you'll win. If you find Tick and Tack on any of your two picks, you win the Tick Tack jackpot, which currently sits at $17,000. But if you can find Tick and Tack on your first two picks, I will double that and make it $34,000. And either way, as long as you find Tick and Tack, you'll have a chance to play the super bonus game to win even more money. Are you ready, sir? Yes, sir. All right, good luck to you. Let's shuffle the board. Fluffy's going to go hide, find a corner to go hide in. And when you are ready, good luck to you. Let's begin. Number nine. Number nine, lower right-hand corner behind box nine. We have $100. You got 100 bucks. You could t Now, if you feel, anytime you feel like you're going to find Fluffy the dragon, you can stop and take the money you've won. Let's keep going. Number four. Number four, left side of the board. All right, number four, $400, you're halfway home. One box on the board right now gives you the instant win if you can find the $500 space. Number three. Number three, upper right-hand corner, look for 500 behind three. You got it, just like that. Wow. Wow. First three up, three down in the main game, and now three up, three down in the bonus round. Very good, Mikey. Mikey, you are right. nothing if not efficient, sir. <laughs> I'll say that much. $1,000 in the pot. 
Time to the six boxes you have remaining uncovered on the board. That's another $6,000 in cash, giving you a one-game cash winning total, $6,600, sir. Wow. Well done. All right. Um, you know what, since, we, since this one episode part of the game went really quick, let's do a little Find the Dragon, shall we? Yeah. I mean, because we've got a we've got a player in here to play maybe in our next game. I'm going to go right down the list. Whoever could fight. I tell you what, we'll, we'll make this really interesting. Mark, because I'm, I'm going to may give you another chance to play here. First person to able to find the dragon on the board will get to play uh, get to play Mikey in the next game. So, Erica, I'm going to start with you. There are six boxes left on the board. One, two, five, six, seven, or eight. Where do you think the dragon's hiding? Six. Number six. Is, she, uh, is behind six? Nope, that was Tack. Uh, Peach, what about you? Uh, I'm thinking one. Number one. Was he behind one? There he is. There's the dragon. Well done. All right, wow. Peach, that means you're going to be playing Mikey in our <sighs> next game. Let's reveal the rest of the board, show everybody at home where everything was. Tick was behind number seven, and he got it in three picks. So, Mikey, with $6,600, you're going to be playing Peach in our next game. And that game takes place right here in just a moment. So stay with us. More Tic-Tac-Toe right out of anywhere. Hey guys, we're back here at Tic Tac Toe. Mikey, successfully, first time on the show, successfully picked it off the dragon, got $6,600, and now he's getting ready to take on one of our more experienced players here on Tic Tac Toe. Equals Peach. Peach, welcome back. Thank you, Brandon. Good okay. to be back again. Fantastic. Uh, d fortunately, lost your interim championship to uh, Kyle in our last episode. Would you have a chance to take it from Mikey right here if you're, if you're up to the challenge? I'd like that. Well, good luck to both of you. We'll see how well you do in this game of Tic-Tac-Toe. So let's take a look at our nine subjects on the board for this game. And they are... We have the secret category, Spooky Places, Auction, Trick or Treat, Take a Letter, Language, Science and Nature, the Bonus Category, and Food and Drink. Trick or Treat category, of course, is either a super easy question or a super hard multiple choice question. And we'll find out, you see, when you pick the category, it's trick or treat, Halloween style. Uh, secret category, of course, doubles everything in the pot. Auction category, I'll give you a topic with ten answers. You're going to be back and forth between how many th answers you think you're able to give. If you're able to give that many and clear your l answer list, you will get the box. If not, your opponent can steal. And, of course, the bonus category, a three-part question. Get all three parts of the question correct, and you'll get another turn immediately. All right? Game two underway here for this episode. Mikey, you're the reigning interim champion. You get to start. Where would you like to begin? Let's go with Spooky Places. Spooky Places. Top of the board. Here comes your question under Spooky Places. Which country celebrates the Day of the Dead instead of Halloween, which includes the tradition of passing a live person in a coffin through the streets? For the box, How about name that country. Uh, Me Mexico. Mexico's correct. You got it. Put an X on the board. $200 in the pot. We'll shuffle. And Peach, over to you. Uh, Venus category. Bonus category, upper left-hand corner. Again, a three-part question. Get all three parts of the question correct. You get another turn immediately. You sunk my battleship, Mark. <laughs> all right. Peach, for your bonus question, all I need you to do is give me the three names of the face cards and a standard deck of playing cards. Face cards. Mm -hmm. The jack. That's one. The queen. That's two. And the king. You got all three of them. Good job. Put a no on the board there. $400 in the pot. Bonus category is successful. That means you get another turn immediately, so we'll shuffle. And it's your choice. What would you like? Hmm. You know, let's try trick or treat. Trick or treat, left bottom left hand corner. Here comes your trick or treat question. Which of these was what? not present at the Battle of Little Bighorn? Which of these is not present at the Battle of Little Bighorn? Was it A. Custer, B. Sitting Bull, C. Crazy Horse, or D. 
Davy Crockett. Oh man. <clears throat> I think, a big horn. Yep, I think you got one of the harder ones here. You might be right. I, mean, I was thinking Custer was wrong from the get go, but I'm not sure. Yeah, which one of those is not yeah. present at the Battle of Little Bighorn? I think I'll go with Custer. No, nope, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's actually, Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett was not present at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Of course. All right, no box there. $400 remains in the pot. We'll shuffle. And control goes back to you, Mikey. Please select. I will go with take a letter. Take a letter in the center box. A two-part question. You'll have some extra time to think about it. All right. All right. Your let your take a letter. Your letters for your take a letter question are mm -hmm. F and B. F and B. Here's the first one for F. April 1st is also known as April what day? That's your first one. Your second one, which rabbit is well known for his phrase, what's up, Doc? All right? Here's your extra time to think about it. Okay. I got this. All right, Mikey, which one do you want to answer first? The F one. F uh, April first is known as April what day? April Fools. That is correct. And now for the center box, which rabbit is well known for his phrase "What's up, Doc"? Bugs uh, Bunny. You got the, the center box. Good job. Seven hundred dollars in the pot. There, we're gonna shuffle. And Peach, we go to you. Uh, you left me no choice. I'm going to have to try Trick or Treat again. All right, Trick or Treat. In the bottom center box for a block, here comes your question under Trick or Treat. At least it's not auction. I know, right? True. Magnolias, Hawthorns, and White Birches are all varieties of what? Is it A, wines, B, shrubs, C, trees, or D, apples? Trees. You are absolutely right. You got the black. Good job. Nine hundred dollars in the pot. We'll shuffle. That's what you do. With, that's what happens when you go with your gut. And control goes back to you, Mikey. How about we go with um, trick or treat? Trick or treat. Right side of the board. Here comes your question under trick or treat. Which of these diseases is transmitted to humans by the mosquito? RPN. Which of these diseases is transmitted to humans by a mosquito? Is it A, yellow fever, B, cytokosis, C, tiflis, or D, mumps? I will say C. Typhus? Yeah. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's actually yellow okay. fever. Yellow fever. Transmitted by okay. mosquitoes. It's, a lot, it's one, of those, one of the diseases that they thought the uh, mega virus is being transferred from from the athletes in Brazil as well. All right, $900 remains in the pot. We'll shuffle. And Peach, back to you. Uh, um, why don't we try take a letter? Take a letter. Lower left-hand corner. Here comes your take a letter question. All right, Peach, your your take a letter this time is H. What U.S. city starting with H will you find George Bush International Airport? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you got five seconds. George Bush International. Mm -hmm. Harrisburg. No, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. <laughs> If you think, if you remember, George Bush is from the state of Texas, and the major right. city in Texas is Houston. Houston. Oh, for. All right, nine hundred dollars remains in the pot. We'll shuffle. I can tell goes back to you, Mike. How about I take a letter? Take a letter. All right, another take a letter question. 
Your take a letter question is in. Your letter's in. What weekly news magazine ran print f ran in print form from February 17th, 1933 to December 31st, 2012? What was that one again? I'm sorry. What weekly news magazine ran in print form from February 17th, 1933 to December 31st, 2012? Starts with uh, Newsweek. Start. Newsweek is correct. Put an X on the board. Eleven hundred dollars in the pot. We'll shuffle. The control goes back to you, Peach. Okay. Uh, food and drink for the block. I'm gonna have to. All right. Get this question correct under food and drink. You'll have a horizontal block. All right, Peach. Ranch dressing has been the best-selling salad dressing in the U.S. since 1992, when it overtook what popular salad dressing? For the block, name it. Can you repeat the question? Yes. Ranch dressing has been the best-selling salad dressing in the U.S. since 1992, when it overtook what popular salad dressing? Mayonnaise. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. What? I was looking for a popular salad dressing there, and it was Italian. Italian was the salad dresser we're looking for. There. Oh, my God. $1,100 in the pot. We'll shuffle. And break for you, Mikey. Take a letter for the win. All right, get this question correct. Under take a letter. It's tic-tac-toe. Another $1,300. And you'll be headed back to the bonus round. All right, Mikey, here's your question under take a letter your letter is d letter d okay park officials of the people's park of lu lu ho zoo tried to pass off what animal as a live african lion for tic-tac-toe and thirteen hundred dollars name it uh, uh dangerous i don't know no i'm sorry that's incorrect I was looking for an animal that started with a D. It was actually a dog. They tried to pass off a dog as an a as a live African lion. Makes oh, I misunderstood. No question. Okay. That's Makes <laughs> no sense whatsoever, even to myself. Eleven hundred dollars for Maze of the Pot. Break for you, Peach, as we shuffle. Let's see here. <clears throat> what to do? A uh, bonus category. Going to the bonus category. Lower left hand corner. Alright, get this bonus category question correct. Of course, so you get another turn immediately. Mm -hmm. As you know, we're in it is presidential season in full force here as we get ready to have election day here in a couple weeks. All I need you to do for this bonus category is tell me the three requirements that a person must have in order to become president of the United States. Um thirty five or older. That's one. Natural born U.S. citizen. That's two. One more. I've lived in the United States for 14 years. You got all three. Good job, sir. Put it all on the board. Nicely done. $1,300 in the pot. We got a ball game on this one. We shuffle, and it's over to you. Oh, gee. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go trick or treat. All right, get trick or treat question correctly. It's tic tac toe, fifteen hundred dollars, and you become the new interim champion. Here comes your trick or treat question. Good luck to you. Which of the following is a popular spicy dish of the state of Louisiana? Again, which of these is a popular spicy dish of the state of Louisiana? Is it A. Gumbo, B. Rambo, C. Bimbo, or D. Dumbo? Do you repeat the four choices one more time? Yes. A. Gumbo. B. Rambo. C. Bimbo. Or D. Dumbo. Rambo? No, I'm sorry. It's incorrect. It's actually gumbo. Gumbo. Oh. Popular dish of Louisiana. I never guessed. No box there. 13 out of remains in the pot. We'll shuffle. And control goes back to you, Mikey. 
I'll go with food and drink for the win. All right, get this question correct under food and drink. It's tic tac toe, fifteen hundred dollars for you, and you'll be headed back to the bonus round. Here comes your question under food and drink. What fast food chain was the first to sell its pre-cooked frozen burgers in grocery stores? For tic-tac-toe and $1,500, name the fast food chain. Would it be White Castle? You got tic-tac-toe. Well done. All right. $1,500. You remain the interim champion. Congratulations to you. We'll talk in just a minute. Peach, you, you gave it a good run. It was a nice play on the bonus category there. I thought you had it with uh, Gumbo, but fortunately it didn't quite work out your way. But we have, thank you for show, joining us once again, and we got some lovely parting gifts, and we'll definitely have you back for another episode, buddy. All right. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. All right, Mark, Mikey, with that win right there, adding $1,500 to your score, brings your grand total cash now $8,100. Well, let's go over here and see if you can take down the Dragon of the Bonus scam. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. All right, you did well the first time around. Picked up some bonus cash. Let's see if you can do it again here. Just a reminder, your Tic Tac jackpot this time is worth $18,000. If you can find it in your first two picks, we'll double it to $36,000, all right? Best of luck to you. Fluffy, go hide somewhere and stay there. Wow, long shuffle on this one. All right, Mikey, where would you like to begin this time? Number one. Number one, top of the charts. Ooh, there's a tack. Five tick, and I will give you $36,000. Let's go with number nine. Number nine, bottom of the board, looking for tick behind nine. Oh, it's $100. All right, well, no double jackpot this time around. You need $900 or tick. I'll try number seven. Seven. Playing the corner game behind number seven this time. That's $500. Two boxes will get you the win right now. You need $400 or tick. Let's try number five. Five, dead center of the board. Look for tick or $400. Behind five. Uh, oh, yeah. Hi, Fluffy. Uh, Mikey, unfortunately, you got caught by a dragon. That means no more bonus money for you in this one. Let's take a look at the rest of the board to see where everything else was. I should have stayed with the corners. Number three, played the corner game. Would have got you tick attack. And got you the jackpot there. And going across the bottom row would have got you that three-hit instant win there for $1,000. All right, Mikey, looks like no more bonus money for you, but you're still my interim champion, $8,100. And you're going to take on one more opponent in just a minute here as we come back for our final part of this game of Tic-Tac-Toe right after this. Don't go anywhere. Hi, guys, welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, Mikey racking up the wins here tonight, up to $8,100. And now he's taking on his next opponent, Playing out of the circle position, it's Erica. Erica, welcome back to Tic Tac Toe. Thanks for having me again. Yes, I'm ready. I, now, is it true that you and Mikey are friends? We are. So this is oh, yeah. nice friendly competition. Friendly gets uber oh, competitive. Yeah. That's usually when it's the best, nine times out of ten. Oh. I expect oh, yes. a clean match from both of you. No low blows, no cheap shots, <laughs> none of that mess. No <laughs> yes. But anyway, good luck to both of you. Let's get right to the, our final game tonight on Tic Tac Toe. And here are your nine subjects for the game. And they are... We have the secret category, the top ten, Halloween history, sports, scary movies, art and architecture, oh. trick or treat, double or nothing, and on the map. Of course, secret category you know doubles everything in the pot. Top ten, top list of ten items pertaining to a certain category. Whoever gives me the higher answer on the list takes the box. And of course, Double or Nothing gives you a chance to earn two boxes in the same turn and on your turn. I totally messed that up, and I apologize for that. Final game of the okay. game. Final game of the day underway. Mikey, you're the champion. You get to start. Where would you like to go? Let's start off with sports. Sports it is. Time for a sports quiz. All 
All right, here comes your question on the sports. How many current Major League Baseball teams are named after birds? Oh, gosh, let's see. There's the Cardinals, the Blue Jays. Oh, gosh. Uh, two? No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. There's three. Oh. You named two of them, the Cardinals and the Blue Jays, but you forgot about the Orioles. The Orioles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Baltimore. All right, so no box there. We'll shuffle them up. <laughs> Eric, it's your selection. Double or nothing. Learn double or nothing, upper right-hand corner. Here comes the... F we just start the game. It's fine. It's First fine. question, Let's under go. double or nothing. As you know, we just celebrated the Olympics being in the country of Brazil. I need you to know how many countries actually border the country of Brazil. Is it A, 9, B, 10, C, 11, or D, 12? Hold on. What are my options? 9, 10, 11, or 12. I'm going to say 10. That's correct. Good job. Ooh. Now do you want to risk that box and nice. go for double or nothing? Okay, let's double and do Halloween history. Halloween history, all right. Some history questions I found on the history of where we get the um, holiday of Halloween from. And here's your first one. For the successful double or nothing... Uh, where did they put that? There's one. All right. Originating from a story about an Irish blacksmith, you ran into the devil in a pub. What name is given to a pumpkin if it has a face carved into it and is illuminated by a candle? A jack o' lantern? You got it right. Successful yeah. doubler or nothing. Oh. Nah, I didn't know that was nice. Irish. Yes. <laughs> Guess I know that's Irish. Uh -huh. It's originally about an Irish blacksmith. $400 is in the pot. Successful double or nothing for Erica. We'll shuffle the categories. Hello. And control goes back to Mark. Oh, sorry, I Mikey. Excuse me. How about double or nothing? Mikey says anything you could do, I could do better. <laughs> anyway, here. But I can do anything better than you, Mikey. <laughs> no, you, no, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Here comes your first part of Shots yes. fired. Shots. Here comes your first double or nothing part of the double or nothing question, Mikey. Which company produces the famous number five perfume? Is it A. Estee Lauder, B. Elizabeth Arden, C. Chanel, or D. Christian Dior? I'll say A. Estee Lauder, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Is that oh. It's Chanel number five. It's Chanel. Chanel number five. No box for. Well, I'm not a lady, so... I understand, but that, that, I thought that was pretty common knowledge. But anyway, I must have missed that one. That uh, smells amazing. That's okay. Yes, oh. but it's also very expensive. It does. I have some. $400 in the pot. We'll shuffle. And a break for you, Erica, on this one. Oh, oh scary movies. I hate them, so... But I gotta go for it. Uh, scary so movies. Get this question correct. Under scary movies, it's Tic-Tac-Doe, $600, and you take over the interim championship. What is the name of the serial killer in the film Halloween? For Tic Tac... Michael Myers! Yeah, she got it right on the nose, just like that. Tic Tac Joe! Good game, Erica. Good game, Erica. Good game. Well, Only reason I know that is because there's a new deal scene in the game I play that has Michael Myers coming to it. Yeah. yeah! Nicely done, Erica. You got $600. Yeah. Tic Tac Doe using the advantage of the double or nothing. Took it Took your advantage, and you did pretty well. You're going to go to the boss round in just a minute. Well, Mikey, I mean, it's the first time getting to be on the show, but you did pretty well for yourself. You got yourself on the leaderboard. I don't know yeah. if it's enough to be in the tournament as of yet, but, again, there's still plenty of season to go. But you're not leaving us here empty-handed. You're leaving us with two wins and $8,100 in cash. Congratulations, Yay. sir. Thank you. And you definitely have want you back for another episode. But as for now, Erica... Come over here and deal, come deal with this dragon. Let's go. Hey, 
Erica, welcome back to Bonus Slam. As you know, you're going to get to $1,000 or find Ticket Tack to win the jackpot, which currently now sits for this final game of this episode at $19,000. You get in your first two picks, we double it to $38,000, all right? Best of luck to you. Fluffy, go hide somewhere and stay there. All right, Erica, nine boxes up on the board. Where would you like to begin? Can I start with two, please? Number two, top center of the board, behind the deuce. You have a tick. Find me tack, I will give you $38,000. Eight, please. Looking for tack behind eight for $38,000. Oh, Ah, I swear that hundred has been the vein of existence for everybody trying to find that bonus. All right, you need $900 or tack. Oh, no. Um, four, please. Number four. I'm four scared. left side of the board. All right, four. That's $400. Two boxes now give you the instant win on the board. You need $500 or tack. Can I have six, please? Number six, going for the cross. Behind six. Oh, oh dang it. Fluff. Okay. I knew he was close. I knew he was close. Yeah, unfortunately, no luck for the year. Found the dragon. Let's reveal the rest. Darn. Reveal the rest of the board. See where everything else is at. Tack was behind number seven. Oh. Number seven. Got it. Well, unfortunately, no money or bonus money for you, Erica. But you're still my interim champion with six hundred dollars, and you'll definitely be back to play another game with us here on Tic Tac Toe. Okay. All right. Well, everybody enjoy the game out there, folks in the audience. Yeah. Good to hear. Glad to have you guys with us, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for YouTube land for watching another episode of Tic Tac Toe. Remember, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more great games here on my channel. And until we meet next time with more players and more cash to give away here on the game of strategy, knowledge, and fun on DGSN. By the way, if you'd like to become a contestant on Tic Tac Toe, just leave a comment down in the comments section below, and we'll see get you the information you need to become a contestant on the show. Until we see you again here with more X's and O's, I'm Brandon Scruggs for the DGSN. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time for another episode of Tic Tac Toe. Bye for now, folks. Begin for Tic Tac Show, a BGSN production. Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratizing Network for great more content like this one.